about to leave Already packing, come with me So I'm about to cook some salmon dumplings with her, so I'm starving I get these like peeled eggs, like I know it's like lazy as hell because if you just buy some eggs you can just boil them But it's also so nice to just like grab an already boiled egg and just like add some salt to it and But I keep telling myself, like, yo, today you're going to just boil a bunch of eggs one day, but nah. All right, so I'm on my second egg now, so I think I'm not going to make the dumplings because I don't feel like it. So I'm just going to have another one of these. <laughs> I use garlic salt, just like sprinkle some on there and like fire. I'm done living life with the lights out. Pistol gang, bitch. It don't matter, pistol gang, bitch. Right. Today I got yeah, time, yeah, cuz. Yeah. It don't matter, pistol gang, bitch. Right. Oh. Some of these runs are keeping me remotely in shape, even though I should be doing more. But we still get into these streets, son. I haven't looked at any of the comments on the um, after college videos, so I'm gonna look on some of those later and try to get back to some of those when I get back from my run. Ended up getting four miles in today because this dude that was in front of me, I was like trying to catch him. So I ended up running more than I would have, but it was good. Beautiful day, Cali. I love Cali so much. Just like living by the beach is like, it's the best thing. Yo, MSU was a great school and you turned down a job at Intel. How much does modeling pay? Modeling can pay a lot. Like the beauty in modeling is it's like you're your own boss, right? So you you decide how much you decide how much you can make kind of, but it just really just depends. Like you have to get you have to get a good agency to actually be in the game. Like you have to be signed to a good agency. They can actually demand you some rates. Uh, I signed with four models first. That was my first agency. I was with them for three years. And yeah, the rates start off at fifteen hundred bucks a day, sometimes two thousand dollars a day. Um, just starting out and that's just that can be just econ print catalog jobs and the rates go up from there depending on like how much usage like where they <clears throat> where they're putting the ad like if it's a if it's a campaign then you can be talking upwards of five thousand ten thousand and girls make a lot more than guys but there's some good money in my land you know I've definitely made ten thousand dollars on one, one job um but like the only thing with it is you're out you're out having to cast and hustle for the work so it's it's not guaranteed like you're not guaranteed like the, like the agent when you sign with an agency they don't guarantee you any money but they don't take on talent unless they believe that that talent can make money so that's pretty much how that works but yeah it's great because you basically end up getting paid to take care of yourself and be the best version of yourself. You get to work with all these amazing creatives. You get to work on ads, you get to travel, you get to shoot. Like it's a really, really cool job. And I'm still doing it because I haven't found a better job. <laughs> like I'm definitely looking, but I think now I'm just thinking about how to make my brand bigger, how to get more into acting. I studied acting for three years in New York and I'm just like trying to scale, but I love, I enjoy modeling. You know, you're basically your own, your own brand. Um, and again, you're basically getting paid to take care of yourself and be the best version of yourself. And it also it's, it has caused me to work internally because if you feel like shit on the inside, you look like shit. So it's like, not only are you working aesthetically on yourself, you're working internally on yourself. It's a lot of traveling and being by yourself. So when you're alone, like you, you really, you get to spend some time with yourself and figure out like, yo, how can I make myself happy? You know what the fuck is wrong <laughs> it's a lot of you know just like self-analyzing the only thing i will say that i do dislike about it is it can make you very insecure 
and so overly critical. You're always looking at yourself and comparing yourself to the next person. And then you shouldn't be doing that, but it's just, it's just by default. You're like, okay, I didn't get that job. Who got the job? <laughs> so you're constantly looking and you're constantly trying to make yourself better, make yourself better. And then a lot of times you're already perfect. Like I have friends who are just like perfect and like they just feel like, oh, I look. And it's just like, or I'll, or I'll, I'll complain to friends about me looking like they aren't in the industry. And I'm like, what the fuck? But it's just like your your modeling is aspirational, right? Like you're you're trying to create this ad and this this aspirational. So it's not necessarily real, but it's like people getting together to create these beautiful aspirational images that sell a product and that make you want that lifestyle. That's why I like I like I I think I stay at almost less than ten percent body fat and like I just really go super hard. But it's just because I'm so used to chasing this aesthetic and it's, i enjoy it like i actually i feel like i look good and when i feel like i look good i feel good so yeah that's modeling there's good money in modeling like i know I'm like i know models make a lot of money i've made decent money from it but like you have some years that are amazing you have some years that are bad it just depends it really does i love how well balanced you are it makes me think you had a good childhood <laughs> Would you very be able to describe your childhood in an upcoming vlog? Thank you, Eric. You'll be giving me good ideas. Uh, to describe my child, I did have a good childhood. Like, so I think I talked about in like another video how I lost my mom at 10 years old. But my mom, when she was alive, like, and I remember, I actually remember those times. She was amazing. She was so amazing. She was so loving. And after a while, she knew that her time was going to be short. So, you know, and I did too, because I lost my grandma and my uncle to the same disease, heart disease. So my mom got diagnosed with it. And then we thought that we were going to lose her. And she ended up getting a heart transplant and a new heart. So she actually ended up living longer than we thought. So I just, from an early age, I think from seven, I feel like I came to and just started to be really present with her. And like I told her, I loved her every night and she just spoiled me. And then when we lost her, I ended up being raised by my, my great aunts, her aunts. So they, they spoiled us too. Like they basically took great care of us. They made sure we were educated. We went to summer camps. We went to Disney World. Like we did counseling to help us get over my mom's death. And they just like, you know, they really took care of us and educated us and loved us. So I did have a good childhood. I, I had a great childhood. Love these videos that you answering questions from the comments. We really get to take that journey with you because you're so passionate with your response. I love this channel. Thank you for allowing me to ride. No, thank you guys. I was just telling my friend, like I, lo like, I love y'all because y'all give me ideas for the content. Like, it's just not me anymore. Like, I can, like, actually have people I can engage with and come and I, then I, then I go back and think about stuff I hadn't really thought about in a while. And like, this is a, this is a partnership. It's great. It's kind of still hard for me to process that there are real people watching all my videos. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was never to hear your opinion. I was gonna respect it either way, but I'm glad to hear even though you want things to open up, you're not rushing it. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not on. I'm not on that. Like that's like I feel like people aren't paying attention to science and the numbers and like deaths and things like that. Like people are just being very selfish and thinking about themselves and like yeah, like a lot of us are hurting and not making money, but like people are dying and like like yeah okay maybe it's older people when you're not an older person but that's someone's grandma that's someone's mom you know these are real people yeah so okay i think i've caught up on all the comments on my channel so mm. someone just asked me to stop using the f word so much I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I try. Like, I try to not swear sometimes, but it's picking up. All right. Good night, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Much love. Happy Monday. Hope you guys are out there crushing it today. And be safe. Let's go.